Joining me now is Manira Wilson, the Lib Dems education spokesperson and candidate for Twickenham. Good morning to you. I could see Good you morning. smiling there when I said it's a stunt-free day for Ed Davey today. Um, has he got any plans? I have no idea. They don't tell me. I think they don't even tell Ed what he's doing until a short while beforehand. But, really? Um... I, guess, I guess if you're going to jump off a, a ledge with a bungee, <laughs> it's best to keep you in the dark. I wouldn't be surprised, given it's the final day of the campaign. Um, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Why has that been the tenor of the campaign? Basically, Ed Davey doing all sorts of stunts and larks and things. Well, I think Ed has said that politicians shouldn't take themselves too seriously, but he's been using those opportunities to draw attention to serious issues, whether it's being on a paddleboard in Lake Windermere to draw attention to the issue and the scandal of sewage in our rivers and seas, which is one mm. of the big issues that people up and down the country have uh, raised with us and that we're campaigning on, or whether it's raising the awareness about children's mental health by going on a slip and slide in half term. Mm. So it's really been about to draw attention to serious issues while saying, actually, we politicians shouldn't take ourselves too seriously. Did he take the post office scandal seriously enough? Yes, I think he did, and I think, you know, Ed has said... That's not what postmistresses and postmasters are saying. In fact, they're saying that all these stunts that he's doing around the country are whitewashing history and directing attention away from what he did as the minister responsible for post offices when the scandal was unfolding. Look, every single day of this campaign, Ed has put himself in front of uh, broadcasters, people like you, done countless interviews and has answered every question put to him. There's no whitewashing going on. And Ed has said his heart goes out to all those who were wronged by the post office. He was lied to as were the courts, as were 16 other post office ministers. He has apologised. And actually, one of the things the Liberal Democrats have done and Ed has personally ensured is in our manifesto, is saying we want to change the culture around some of these uh, vested interests. We've seen the scandals of Hillsborough, the post office, the infected, infected blood scandal. He could, he could have done that in government, though, couldn't he? All those years ago, all the heartache, all the misery, all the money people have lost and the lives that have been ruined, he could have done that. Matt, he was lied to, as was everybody mm. who was in office at the time on an industrial scale. So he could have the truth with us sooner, no, because we asked, him, we asked him about Matt, this. The truth weeks, only came to light it. in 2015 mm. after the Liberal Democrats had left government. And since then, he has campaigned tirelessly for a public inquiry to which he will be giving evidence. Mm. And we are talking about changing the culture of public services so that we have an office of the whistleblower and also a duty of candour on public officials. But the other issue that we're, people up and down the country are talking about, look, I've knocked on hundreds of doors in this campaign in my own constituency and across Surrey. Not a single person has raised the post office with me. What they are talking to me about is that they can't get an appointment with their GP, NHS waiting lists and scandal of sewage in our rivers and seas and the cost of living crisis. Those are the issues that when I'm out and about in Twickenham and in Surrey uh, that people are raising with me on the doorstep. Ed Davey was, of course, in government because the Liberal Democrats went into coalition with the Conservatives. It looks like, if the polls are to be believed, you're going to get a good amount of seats this time round, 40, 50, maybe even 60. You could feasibly hold the balance of power once more. Would you consider coalition again? Look, uh, not a single vote has been cast. 10 p.m. Until 10 p.m. tomorrow, our sole laser-like focus is to win as many votes and as many seats as we can right across the blue wall, both in the south of England, the West Country, and parts uh, of the northwest uh, and in Yorkshire as well, uh, and of course north of the border where we're we're fighting uh, the SNP as well. Could... That's what we're focused on, and there is no limit to our ambition. Very quick question on integrity: The Welsh government has said they're going to bring in legislation to stop politicians lying. Yeah. I've asked the other politicians this morning the same question. Have they ever told a lie? Uh, I, not to my knowledge, no. I, I make a point of not lying it's, even it's white It's not lies. an entirely serious question, no, no, by the no, way. No, honestly, it's, it's I, well, I think honesty... And and I, I pride myself on honesty, integrity and authenticity in politics, and I think it's important. I haven't seen the legislation, so I'd need to look at it. But in principle, I have absolutely no problem with it. Manira Wilson, thank you. Thank you.